Okay, recording. Ready? All right. We are on page test above, a few lines above the middle of the page. The line begins with the word Dibhinas. And um, there are still some nuances, some important insights that are necessary to be identified. Even though we spoke about this, this whole um, the the bonus but other Raymond and 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 that's it. You more than this atmosphere in shape. We spoke about atmos, the principle of atmos. One primary principle that we need to always remind ourselves. The Alter Rebbe says that one that that um, one sits and learns for several hours um, in a row. Every hour or so, he should stop and be misbeining again. About the Indian that he is learning Shem Shemaim and learning Taylor because the Rebbe Shah said he's learning Taylor. There has to be a constant reminder what this is about. And the reason we need this reminder is because we are in fact acting with koyches on a functional level. Even seichel is a koyach. And ultimately, even the rots and the are koyches in a certain sense. These are a different level of koyches, but they're still koyches. A koyach means something that is active, that acts as a function. And as we spoke many times, that there is the the chitzonius, the low level of seichel, which is the plain dry logic, the scientific level of seichel. <coughs> this really does nothing for the person. And in fact, we pointed out many times that that's not really seichel, because it doesn't represent a living nefesh. That is a seichel that's called a, a reactive seichel. Reactive means you have a fact, so you react and identify the fact. The union of, of seichel, the real union of seichel, the union of the human being, which is what it all comes back to, human being is not reactive, it's not just accommodating to the world. He is the one who is affecting the world. He tells the world what it should be. Odomorishin, he was given the task of naming all the animals. Why? Because he has to assign to each animal its fact function. Because the world is his and he has to assign it in, in, in their function. There's an expression in the world that, so to speak, the the upper um, uh, level of human dignity, of human uh, goodness, live and let live. Let live means don't interfere with somebody else's life. Sounds great. 
But what are you contributing? The Torah says, Nasa other Musalmanic and Sayyid make us make a man, but Salmanic and Musayyid in our form. The year do, and they should rule the world. We should not just be there and let the world run. And the Torah ultimately says, capture the world, conquer the world. Why is it that the human being was given that task and that and that privilege? Because he is He is the godly element in the world. What is the godly element in the world? In what way? Is it goodness or kindness? What what in what way is it the godly element in the world? He is the only presence in the world that is not captured by the world, that stands aloof, and that tells the world where it is coming from and what it is about. Where does a human being get that? awareness and that insight. How come he has that insight and no other creature has that? It is due to the fact, as we spoke many times, because of his neshama. Due to the madrig of his neshama, his neshama is a, is a, is a different kind of nefesh. And in, in that we in, because of its special quality, and as the Torah describes, we spoke many times. The, but in the human being, the neshama, and the fact that it gives life to the body, is not does not capture does that does not define what the neshama is. In every animal, the nefesh gives life to the body. That's what it is. Nefesh chaya. As we always say that in, in all other animals, it's a living body. Functionally, their, their presence is the body, how they function in the body. It's a living body. There's an inanimate body, there's a, there's a growing body, and there is a, there is a living body. The human being is not a living body. The living, body, by a living is life itself. Nefesh. Except nefesh would not be, would not be able to affect the world, would not understand the world. So therefore, this nefesh is in a goof, so that the nefesh can see and understand things the way they are in the world. But on what le level, on what basis does it understand these things in the world? Not what the world tells it, what's the, what it tells the world. How it understands the world. That's the human being. As we always point out, he is independent. He stands alone on his own koiches. It comes through his seichel. Now I'm going to repeat it essentially, but I'm pointing it after all that was introduced. The seichel ho odom is not reactive seichel. It's one and one. Oh, count them up. Oh, it's two. That's not what seichel is. That's reactive. How do the animals also have that type of knowledge? He comes and gives a new reality to it. He says, this is not a one and one, this is two. There's a relationship between them. There's a reality behind it. That's seichel. But this seichel is not a seichel that simply sorts things out in the world. This is seichel that tells you, listen, 
This is how my nefesh looks at this, not how the world looks at it. But the nefesh itself couldn't even relate to it. It comes to the process of seichel and says, this is how the seichel interprets it. But what is the message in the seichel? Not what you see, to what, what, what I know, what the nefesh says. So being that the seichel lord is ultimately rooted and representative of nefesh, therefore, it has in it inherent in the seichel the spirit of the whole nefesh. What the truth of nefesh is, except to recognize it and to touch it and to to trigger that recognition, it goes through various stages of learning his bonus and so forth. One understands one level automatically, he sees another level. Because, because now he opens up a little bit more to the source of the nefesh, and he sees a new another way. So he starts off in his bonus of the greatness of the cross. Then he goes to the rainbow of the cross. And then he says, really, I don't want anything. I just want atmos. What's with atmos? Atmos is not, is that, that element of the cross that doesn't manifest itself at all. Is the Elokus as it is to itself, not the Elokus as it manifests itself in the creation of the world. I want a godly world. <coughs> Where does a person get that kind of desire? How does he relate to it, something which is completely, so to speak, outside of the world? Because that's what, is, that's what the human nefesh is. <coughs> and that's what Seichel is. This is what we point out that seichel, that is uh, 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 dedicated, that has been captured by the world, and all he understands is how to manipulate things in the world. This is captive seichel. This is not seichel. This is not the, the real free human seichel. Uh -huh. um, the, what you brought in the beginning about uh, being reminded that you have to constantly be reminded what what what, it, what you're doing, you know, with learning consecutive hours. And, yeah, uh, uh, what I want to say, what I want to say, if you remind ourselves that the seichel as we are applying it, as we are learning it, where is it coming from? And that, that, that what does seichel stand for? So now what's driving all of these progressive levels is the fact that he's, he has a neshama. And the neshama, and the neshama shows itself, it shines through it. <coughs> and that is ultimately the highest behind the same. Even to understand one on one is two, is a neshama element very hidden, very subtle, but it is a neshama element. Because in the world that doesn't exist. And these levels, they are natural progressions. Once he gets into, <coughs> um, you know, the first level, then that being his having his seichel would order, would kind of naturally lead to the roimus, or or not necessarily. No, nothing is. Natural progression in Seichel. Once he gets a certain point, then he directs his Seichel to, to the reality itself. That's the next step. Rather than how it reflects itself, the heart of it, how the reality itself. But it's up to the person to direct himself. It's the Rotson that directs him. A 
up to the person it's the rats on the direct so the rats on the rats on really wants to go that way the rats in effectively um, tells the seichel, hey, you have not yet touched the reality. Beautiful. You're very smart. You can give a big speech. But are you alive with this that you have understood? Is that the real thing? So this is what he says, and and this is the uh, when he's mispointing a moved on Rimmel, and Ayesov is uh, is moved on this remote world. Remote world. How do you come to talk about something which is remote world? What's the answer? You are remote world. You yourself are remote world. Oh, but I'm functioning in Seichel. That is the 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 uh, identification of that truth of your knowledge and it has to be true seichel because it has to be in the world like we're saying yeah, I hope, uh, a human being stands on two feet but it's not he's not captured the world he's just touching the world He stands on his own spirit. Not like the animal that's being held up by the earth. What's the, the worldly element of Seho? Is that it operates in time and space? It's, yeah. And yet it's going to contain something. When you say he's moved on the elements, it means that you know the world, and you say, oh, but this is not the same thing. But this is not world. Not the same thing. No. It's not world. Though. It's not world. It's Murumi Mir. It is by be, by by identifying what world is that that gives you and, and points you to the direction of saying, "Hey, what is the real truth? That's not the world. Is not true." And this is. In, in, in complete in sync with what we are quoting from Rama all the time. What is the foundation of Seichel? It is to know that the first being before world. And that world is a derivative of Amitis Himotsa, the truth of his being. It's not even a created thing. Except from that truth comes these little things. It's not even a created thing. Sorry. Yeah, the the essence is not a created thing. It's amitism uh, also. That is what seichel is based on. This points out the stupidity of of, of, of saying, "Oh, I know everything. I know how to, how how." To, this turns on this operates and this up this is a stupidity. It's like somebody who, who is, is not in high issue, who doesn't know how to live among human beings, doesn't know what a human being is. He says a car. Oh I know what a car is, it's got a motor. And it makes the wheel spin. <laughs> What's that about? Every animal knows that, that the car moves. But what is it about? What's the spirit behind it? Therefore, this effect the, um, effectuates it. When he is misbeining that Atmos and so is the mood of the animals, Nas and Nase Horotsu, Behat Simoin, Libhinas Atmos in Soibor. 
to the Bechina of Atmos Yisrael. Again, the word Bechina. Because in the world, you don't see Atmos. The world is a created entity. But you are identifying by, by recognizing that, that Atmos in Yisrael is, is Miroimim, so he wants the Bechina of Atmos. He doesn't want that which can be manifest into the world. He wants to he wants to um, to uh, relate and to experience, quote unquote, as if it's possible to experience it. That's one experience. He wants to be with the truth itself. As it is expressed in this posuk, Mili Bashomai, who is to me in the heavens? Veimcha, and what is anything next to you? Anything but yourself, what is that? I have no desire for it. Everybody knows what this is. This is a posuk in the Tilly. Um, and then, the, and the, but Martin Rebbe, this was his Madrid. So one may ask, since we are into it, so what does a person accomplish by going to this depth, into this purity? How, how does it contribute anything to the world? How does it contribute anything to the world? What's the answer? I know you, you all know the answer, just wanna the answer is that this is similar to saying why does human being need a will? A rot he needs hands. Why do you need to drive a car? Hands and foot. Why do you need the Rotson, which is a remote from all the functional level? So, so he, he, he's shining with the, the whole meaning of the whole... Of he's the whole, giving the, the world... The, the, it's, it's real vitality. Why, why does he need to go through the whole process, starting with the alakus in the world to the roimus to the zochinas atzim? Sorry. In other words, he has a neshama. But the answer is that it has to go through seifa. But it has to go through seifa, absolutely. And in, um, like we already we been discussing lately. He has to go through, to the he has to go through all the various steps. Seichel recognizes deeper and deeper. If he wants to imagine things, that's not Seichel. It has to be discovered now. Like I said, one and one is two. And he said that this two is, is He's actually representative of the ultimate unity in the world. He speaks about unity in the world, we need to go one and one. The one and one, and identifying first on the, on the simple love world in the world. That it's one and one is just one and one, two ones. And then you say, but that's not the way I see it. That's when you, when you get to the real thing. That's when you get him. That's when you can be misbehaving. and hey, you know, this is here's how the, I perceive the truth. A simple thing like that can open up a new a new world.
seem, it seems like the faculties, the kirchas are at one time the, the destination, the ratsun has to be impacting them. At the same time, they, it seems like they're part of the problem. Like we started with, the altar ever says, after an hour or so, think back on what. On they're part of the problem. They are the solution. They're not the problem. The problem is that the world is is a hell, and that itself is also not a problem. They just wanted that this hell should be should be eliminated. And so, therefore, if the world's a hell, I'm so it can it can what cloud the cloud the kochas. And only through kochas can you reveal the truth of the, of the world. And yet, only through Satan. And yet, like we started today, we always need to remind ourselves lest the faculties kind of get schlepped into the belt. That's right. Uh-huh. Lest you, lo- you, lose, you lose sense of what these faculties are all about. Uh-huh. Like in the world, you can argue to your face is blue. One and one is one and one. Two ones. They lost connection to the Emerson. All it is is two words. And this is why they argue, hey, you're so supreme, you're a human being. The cat also knows this. You know the story I'm referring to, right? The, the dog. Mm-hmm. The mathematician dog. Right, mathematician dog, right. A man trained, and you, you don't seem to know about it. No, no, no. No, no but your no. neighbor doesn't know. There was a, there was a man, an, an elderly person, going back many, many years. Uh, so he was a nice gentleman, apparently educated. I don't know exactly what his background was, but he used to walk with a little dog and used to talk with him. Uh, so one time he was standing there, and a few bucking were standing there, were standing around him. And he demonstrated what he what his dog is able to do. So he would say two and three, and the dog would bark out five times. And everybody stood up, oh, wow, look at this dog. The dog knows that two and three is five. And that, that's really, you would think it's only in the human realm. How can you talk, correlate two and three and five? What's the, what's, what's the real secret in this? The secret is the dog did not bark five times. The dog barked two times and it barked three times. It didn't bark five times. That you can trade. I say two, bark two times. But to comp- to co- coordinate and, co- and correlate two and three to five, that's impossible. Now for that, you have to have a sense of unity. It's impossible. That's the degree, the level of seichel that is now being taught to, to, to you know, in the entire world. That's called seichel today. Rejecting everything else. That's why we come to a point where we evolve to accepting um, gay marriages. You don't have a, a human sense. Why not? All right, let's continue. Within this level in this realm yes ganking base if i there too there are two modes whether the ahava that is aroused as a result of recognizing the union of atmos the remoteness and the greatness the supremacy of atmos the, the pure truth of atmos itself and that arouses an ahava that he wants only atmos, bechinas atmos. So there, there are two ways. 
this Ahava, how the Ahava manifests itself. In the Ahava here, but even because that is in a manner of Shachof, it's Liyah, it's Gilu, it's Asma, Seva, it's Oi, Boru. That he wants that they should be Gilu, it's Asma, Seva, it's Oi. That the Asma, Seva, it's Oi should be recognized and revealed in the world. Behind which would mean Sharoit Sebaham Shoch as Oir Behagil, that he wants that this Oir and this Gil should be Nimshach and identifiable in the world. That is the the mode of his arm. Harei Zem maybe they should thus that maybe brings about it it, it results. In the shuv element of avoid, what is the shuv element of avoid? Bikiyu matero mitzvahs. In kiyu matero mitzvahs, but the yoyis ali deizeh gilu yenisoy baru. So that through the tero mitzvahs, there should be gilu yenisoy baru who in the world. How do you recognize? How do you bring an oil in soy? To, to be identifiable and recognized in the world, it is to key what they don't Again, as we discussed in the, in, in the other phase, if you keep Shabbos, and one-seventh of all your time is a non-functional, is a non-worldly period, And you say, what's the point? You're wasting a seventh of, of, of the time of the world. <laughs> what is that about? How is it possible? It's not functional. You sit around and do nothing from a worldly perspective. And what's the answer? The answer is that 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 you are there identifying the truth of the world. But what is the truth of the world? The existence is is not world. It's a course. It is the the, the the godly truth itself. Not functional. It's a godly will. It's the atmos. You, the presence, of, the, 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 the yeah. presence of the world is not limited to a functional alone. Which words? I'm sorry. Which words were you focusing on to explain? Gilu atmosphere in self. To tell you mitzvahs. To tell you mitzvahs. Li is al beza gilu yen is soibor. How is it gilu yen is soibor? To tell you mitzvahs. Is the basis for it is other world is is not of this world? You're saying. What? And what was the answer? The answer is that. That is every aspect of the is, is functioning at the level, at the God level, not in the world level. Okay. All right, we have to interrupt. Before I stop, I want to wish Yitzchok Bloom much, much Hatzlocha today. Amen. Amen. It should be. Yeah, 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 yeah.